Dr. P. Sangamitra, who is a professor of medicine at Government Medical College, Kotayam, Kerala. Doctor, thank you so much for joining here at McLeod's MedLife at APCON 2019. So, we'll just start off by talking about the prevalence of hyperthyroidism. What, according to you, is your opinion on the prevalence? Thank you. The prevalence is the worldwide is it is 1 to 2 million people are affected. The Indian prevalence is around 11 percent. Okay. And I want to highlight that it is 10 times more common in females than men. And speaking about hypothyroidism, what do you think are the alarming symptoms that needs to be uh, taken as a sign for a patient to visit a consulting physician and get himself checked for the same? The patient will feel excess fatigability and the poor concentration, memory loss, cold intolerance, constipation. They have some mood disturbances and uh, uh, in severe cases they can present with heart failure as well as um, patient can develop in coma stage that is called the mixedema coma. Okay, so these are the symptoms that needs to be looked out for. What about, uh, what is the case of pregnant women? What about during Pregnan pregnancy? Pregnancy, it is very important to screen for this thyroid function test because the neurocognitive development of these children, the fetus, is dependent upon this thyroid form. If the mother is hypothyroid, the child will be born with low IQ and there is growth retardation and all complications. So it is a very important to screen all the pregnant ladies for hypothyroidism. And uh, finally, doctor, what are your views on the dietary modifications that need to be made so that it can be controlled at its very root? The dietary modification is this uh, thyroid hormone is a, a hormone which is responsible to run the metabolism. Okay. And this, there are so many stimulants like selenium, zinc, protein rich diet which sure. help in boost up this uh, metabolic this thing. Okay. So they, uh, the food rich in proteins like pulses are very important okay. and selenium containing foods like they can take uh, this brazel nuts, sardine etc. Then zinc containing oysters and shellfish will go do good for them. And those patients who are have autoimmune etiology, gluten can be avoided, wheat containing gluten because gluten producing allergy is an autoimmune disease. So in that situation they can avoid that also. Then I want to highlight on exercise also. Okay. It's a aerobic exercise will stimulate this thyroid hormones. Okay, okay. This has been certainly very useful information about how to control hypothyroidism. Thank you so much, doctor, for joining us. Thank you.